Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Franchise Hockey Manager 3 as the Bird de Balsers. So, uh, we finished our offseason on a bit of a high note. Uh, got some signings done and all that stuff. So, we got, uh, well, most of the stuff that we want. Uh, we're kind of broke right now, but uh, it uh, definitely could be worse. We have a lot of free agents that are going to be hitting free agency next year. Um, so we're going to have to definitely, definitely pay attention to that. Um, these three guys, for example, like these two are probably not going to want to come back. Uh, you'll probably come back. But one of our priorities is obviously young guys like, uh, let's go by age here. Like these two French Canadians, or, Fr uh, French guys, uh, if I can actually renew his contract automatically, no, he's already saying that he wants to test the test the the market, which is not a good sign right there. But we'll see. But anyways, so we're gonna do our preseason game. There's three, six, there's seven of them. So we're gonna look at our depth is pretty good here. Our strategy shouldn't be the same as it was last year. Low brisk offensively, high tempo. And uh, variable shooting. Gonna pretty much keep that the same. Overall tactics, we're gonna cycle the puck and we're gonna do the neutral zone trap. We're gonna clear the lines and create the lines again. So Franzen is our number one goalie, but Nagy definitely, definitely has the possibility of becoming our number one. Um, you'll notice everyone on this year's <laughs> roster is in their last year of their contract. So. Yeah, we got some we got some worries. We got some worries. Um, Nagy right here. He could theoretically become our number one goalie. And then Franzen, well, he's already pretty, pretty good. So here we go. We're going to play our first game as we were before. We're basically just going to sim the games through. So our first game, 7-2, to two, which is pretty good. We're going to play Nice immediately. I just want to look at the overall scores and just to see overall how we're doing. Uh, the Dragons... They won 10-3. Oh my god. And we already have a day-to-day -day injury with a player. So we already have our first injury, but... It's still, he still can play, which is okay. Play, continue, sim game two. Second game, we win 4-3. Not bad. Uh, overall, six people were in the stands in Nice. Uh, shots were 35-19. to 19. Uh, Game was pretty close, actually. A lot closer than I thought. We're going to go to the next game there. Sartsburg, it looks like we're playing them three games in a row. We don't play the Dragons until later on, but we'll see how the Dragons do. Uh, they actually just lost 4-2 uh, against Gap. Interesting. Those are the guys that we're worried about because they were so close to us last year. We did have a couple close games last year, so we'll have to see just how just how things kind of fit in. How, how, how the remainder, how the preseason goes is not really how your full season is going to go. Because, I mean, this could be their only loss in the preseason, right? So, we'll have to see. The Ducats there won 6 nothing, But they also lost... Wait, no. We have two Ducks. Now. Hmm. Uh, everyone got better, which is pretty good. Interesting. Oh, from the Ducks to the Pioneers. The Chamon Morze Pioneers. Is that a team on our league? It is. Oh, it is right there, yeah. Mm. So they went from here to there, huh? That's good to know. So we play Strasbourg basically three days in a row. This will be a good uh, little um, kind of feeler to see how we're going to do. I think they finished 
uh, last year kind of in the middle of the pack, so we'll have to see. None of these games have been played yet. So we should get our um, monthly thing from last month, but there was nothing happening, so yeah. So we play at Strapsburg, and then we play in Bordeaux right after. And we won 8-2 to two the first game. And we're going to go right to the second game. Actually, I want to see... And the Dragons won 2-0 there against Grenoble. Interesting. Uh, Dijon won again, 6-1. to one. Interesting. Get more comfortable playing. And we'll have some difficulty. No big deal there. So as the season goes on, obviously we're going to look to see who our point leaders are and all that stuff. We're obviously going to want to re-sign some of these guys, but I might, if we win a second to, second year in a row, um, it might be that the third year we go all out again. And then on year four, just totally get a whole bunch of crappy players in year four and get a whole bunch of prospects. And maybe you just get like one or two really good players. Um, yeah, so here we go with the second game. This one is obviously in Bordeaux. So, here we go. And we won 7-2. 2,100 people came to watch us play in comparison to the six that came to watch us play somewhere else. Uh, we shot them 34-20. Th uh, and they were actually winning in the first period, but then we took over in the second and destroyed them in the third, which is pretty good. We got an email here with a fractured larynx. One of our left wingers. And he's a Swiss player, so that's okay. So I can actually call up this guy here. And I'll move him to our injury list. And we'll dress you. Oh, we're also going to clear out our lines and redo our lines. Right, two injuries. One guy's out for four months. The other guy's out for 11 days. Or, we still got three more, three more preseason games to go. And then she'd be over. Have a sip of my beer. I'm drinking uh, Shock Top Belgian White. I didn't actually see what the dragons did there, so... I'm also sipping on coffee at the same time, so it's rather rather strange taste. Uh, wait, what? Oh, injured. Okay. Whew. For a second there, I thought one of our players got injured again. So we play once, then we're off for two days. We play two day two games back to back. The oh, then yeah, then actually then the season's over. Good to know. Or the preseason, sorry, is over. And there we go. We win 9-2. Not bad. Not not a bad score whatsoever. Rouen just this time beat the gap uh, uh the gap team there 8 nothing. I still think the Dragons are going to be the the team to beat. Though I think Dijon for some reason. I don't know why. I just have this strange feeling about Dijon. Okay, then our last two games are back to back, so here we go. Boom. We lost against Angiers 2 1. Interesting. Very interesting. They score. Oh, it was in overtime, too, so they scored in the third period. Interesting. Very interesting. That was a very close game, then. So it looks like Angiers might be the team that we're going to keep our eye out on. Because, yeah, because Rouen just lost again. Which reminds me. Uh, how's the training going? You're unhappy and you're unhappy. Okay. Um... Yeah, our assistant is going to do the training. 
Right, here is our last preseason game. And we won 5-1, 36-21 with the shots. We won up 2-1 after the second, and then we scored three goals in the third, which is really good. Hits. We hit them. No, we were low on the penalty minutes. And we won the majority of faceoffs, which always winning faceoffs, always a good thing. One guy was a minus one. A lot of minuses on the other team, obviously. Franzen in net with a 9.52 save percentage at this moment. Overall, shots on goal. Power play. We have one power play goal out of uh, four power play opportunities. Okay. So two of our really good guys are out right now. Both left wingers. I kind of want to make him, but he's, well, actually, he's French. But I also have one extra space for a foreigner. So I want to call up him for now. You know what? Let's call him up for now. Where is... Yeah, you're actually really good. Where's Warwick? No. Yeah, I'm going to let him keep playing. But we're going to continue, and then we're going to get our little notification as to the what to look for. I want to see if Rouen, Rouen just barely won. So it should give us a good idea. It pretty much said that us and the Dragons were going to be the teams to beat, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, the two of us just ran away right from the beginning, and it was hard for anyone to catch up to us. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait. Preseason, uh, the preseason is over, um, but we're going to look really quickly at our record for the preseason. We're not going to look at the email that we got. Uh, we're just going to look overall at uh, our record for the preseason and... Kind of figure out how things are going to go. We're going to ignore that altogether. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We're going to look at... Oops. Uh, oh my god, it's been a while. Uh, schedule. Whoa! Um, okay. Well, I got mixed up. So, overall... We had one overtime loss. Uh, we've outscored every one of our opponents by quite a, quite a bit of goals. Uh, we had two close goals, though. One against Nice here. And then we had the loss against Angiers. So, Angiers. Um, two losses and then the overtime win against us. Um... Trying to look for the dragons. There they are, the dragons. Schedule. So they had two losses and one overtime win. So they basically got, what, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 points. If we were actually playing right now, uh, we would have been in first overall. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Unless someone went undefeated. There's so many teams right now. It's hard to see. Yeah. Uh, Strasbourg lost Every single game, pretty much. Uh, Sharmix. Sharmix lost. Wow, they lost them all. Us, Nice. Lost the majority of their games. Lyon. Lyon went undefeated. Wow. Though, I don't know how fair it is, because they played the same team. Oh, no, only, only twice. There was one back-to-back -back series. Okay, that's not so bad. So, Lyon went undefeated. Rouen, we already let them. They had, they were, uh, uh, four, two, no, five. Five, two, and out. Oh. No. Five, two, and one, because they have the overtime win. No, it's a regular win. Yeah, so it's five, two, and one, yeah. Or five, two, and oh. Because a win is a win, no matter what. Uh, and... They had three, so they're three, three, and one, because the overtime loss, they get one point for that. 
uh, Grenoble. They went five, five, two, no. So we didn't even have the best uh, record in the preseason. And then Angiers, interesting. So they went five, two, and zero as well. The Dolphins went two, two, four, and one. Gap went three, four, and zero. Oh. And last but not least, Dijon, the mustard team went uh, five, five, two, and zero. Oh. So in the end, it looks like. Uh, oh, not Angiers. What was? Oh, who was it? Was it Lyon? Yeah, Lyon looks like the team to beat here. We got good information on the majority of their players. So I mean, it's not that they're good, <laughs> and that sounds weird. But see, so, yeah, see, they got the seventeen-year-old right there. But yeah, it's not like they're, they're like they're good. It just happens to be the way it is. So in the next episode, we're gonna look at our season preview and uh, we'll play the first third of our season. Until next time, see you guys then. Bye bye.